Well, last year I dug deep into the black metal scene and specifically the more extreme side of the black metal scene. And so this one really tickled my fancy, you know, because it wasn't just like balls to the wall, insane 100% of the time. There were quite a number of really fun movements within this. So before I get too out of hand, let's dive into this beast. Bellum 2 by Aquilus, and I believe that's how you pronounce their name. I keep thinking it might be Aquilus, but it, I, I don't know. Either Aquilus or Aquilus. Somebody's going to correct me, so correct me down below. Uh, this is a new outfit for me. I wasn't really all that, like, I had... This is a new one for me. I didn't know about these guys until my fam jam let me know about them. Um, and this is their third studio release. They put out an EP back in 2007 and followed it up with a full studio album in 2011. And then they put out their second full length album in 2021. So like they kind of like to spread out their releases and this is all being head by Horace. And again, I'm gonna try this Rosenquist, I think is how you pronounce his last name, Rosenquist. Quivist. Uh, Horace is kind of like the main mastermind. He's the one that's taking care of all the orchestration, all the compositions, uh, and he's got a couple individuals helping him out in terms of like the studio recording on here. We have a couple of violinists. We have a couple of like, uh, what is it? Fipple flutes and operatic vocals. Um, so there's a lot there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. The overall flavor of this project is very similar to, say, like a very early Opeth. Like we're looking at like the Candlelit era from like Orchid and um, like My Arms Your Hearse, like those albums and around those times. But you're kind of flavoring it in the same expression that early Death Heaven was playing with, with like Sunbather. So you have these really aggressive, very bombastic, very... Uh, like balls to the wall noise, like wall of sound, while also contending with these minstrel, very beautiful, almost classical pieces as well. Like both of these are kind of playing in tandem with one another. Now, true to a good black metal record, the only gripe that I have with it is the inherent mixing that's found on this. It does feel a little unpolished at times. And I think that's just more of the black metal aesthetic. You know, at times it doesn't feel all that dynamic. At times it does feel a little compressed and flat, but it's not as much as I've heard from other black metal artists that really love to compress the hell out of it. You know, it doesn't sound like it's being recorded off of tin cans and shoelaces. There is a little bit of dynamics. And when the music is kind of going either full frontal, you're still able to hear at least like the main guitars and like the main licks that are going on there while also taking that step back and when it's you know a little bit more subdued and it's just kind of like this orchestral very pastel piece you know there's not that that stretching you know it doesn't feel like the tape is being stretched in that sense so i really appreciate that and the other thing that i love is just kind of the vibes you know i'm really into the vibes on this one and this can definitely be found on the two bigger pieces on here, uh, the fourth and sixth track, both well into the 16, 17 minute mark. That really allows for some really beautiful buildups and payoffs. And that's what I love about this style of music. It's these longer stretches. You're allowed to build up tracks to have a very beautiful and very like epic kind of you know, centerpiece for a lot of these tracks that really hold to their own. Like both of these tracks, even though they're, you know, around the 17 minute mark, um, they never feel like uh, they're overblown. You know, they never feel like, ah, uh, they never need to justify their lengths. Every time I listen to them, I'm like, yeah, this song needed to be as long as it was. And in that case, I really, really appreciate it. And even on some of these smaller tracks, you know, like the opening track of To Tallow North, uh, to tell Nor North, not nah, man, my dyslexia is really having a lot, a lot of fun with this album and a solitary demise. Uh, these are just kind of like little snippets, you know, they're just a little bit of a an atmosphere, you know, it's like you're coming onto the moors, these very like mist caked, dreary moors that are just kind of laying down the foundation again. It's that very vibes atmosphere in that case. 
This definitely isn't like the bright and sunny spring morning or afternoon kind of an album. This is the late evening kind of fall and dreary kind of an aspect. You know, it's overcast. There's a lot of rain going on. Uh, that kind of mood. And I really, really appreciate something like that. Like, I love listening to this record at like 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And, you know, there's just a couple little ambient lights going on, but the music is really allowed to present itself. And so with that, we're giving a lot of ebbs and flows in this as well. And I really appreciate that. Uh, going back to the mixing a little bit, I do enjoy that the harsher aspects of this album aren't as sharp, you know, like the main screaming and growling, the mix it kind of buries it a little bit, very similar to how a lot of the black metal stuff are kind of doing that now. And so the vocals are just kind of added as atmosphere rather than being any kind of star performer or like center stage kind of an aspect. And I think that will help a lot of people that are new to this genre get into this genre. And if it isn't apparent already, the handoffs between the more somber, much more, I guess, like heavenly, very soothing and vibe moments of this track are balanced very, very well with the harsher, guttural, insanity aspects of it. Like the last two tracks, amidst, amidst sowing treerness and pillars, uh, the pillared dark, uh, both are kind of like these handoff, very like soothing kind of outro tracks, both at about three and a half minutes, almost four minutes. And I appreciate that they wanted to end on this kind of a note. Uh, both are, again, very atmospheric. That's very soundscapey in that sense. And I think structuring the album in this way, you know, you start off with three shorter tracks. You have a one big track. You have an interlude track. You have another really big track. And then you have a finale of two tracks. I think that structure really helps digest this album you know it's it's a very pleasant sit down and kind of ebb and flow almost as if this is like one big piece it allows for a much more digestible piece of music especially as i keep saying if you're a fan of this style of music but also if you're a newcomer to this you know this is kind of an easy in in terms of the black metal especially progressive black metal genre uh and i think it'll help massage a lot of people into this particular flavor uh especially if you're kind of like an individual that really wants to get into this harsher style of music but does find that it's a little bit of a buy-in i think this is going to be a really easy way to get into it i've been loving this album i have been listening to this album almost non-stop since it dropped a couple weeks ago and i think this is a great follow-up to bellum one and you could tell like when they went into their recording studio they wanted this to be like an anthology they have a part one and part two i don't know if they're going to go into a part three you know i was looking for information but i couldn't quite find this i found if you had listened to part one you're going to be very satisfied with this uh and if you haven't it also serves as a very good standalone album as well so in the end, with all that being said, my final rating of this album would be Bellum 2 by Aqualus is one that I absolutely love with my whole heart. You know, this is the kind of album that I would have to nitpick in order to find flaws with. And even those flaws aren't really flaws, you know, they're more of like blemishes. Um, and, and even then, like, uh, I can't really fault it for that so yeah this one gets the note seal of approval this one is a run don't walk this is currently my favorite black metal release of the year and i think you would really really find something fun out of it so yeah that's what i've got for bellum 2 from aquilus or aquilius uh <laughs> i'm sure i'm going to be corrected on my pronunciation uh let me know of your own thoughts about this album if you loved it if you hated it by commenting down below because yeah yeah that's what I've got for you guys today. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are definitely the best. And until next time, notes out.